This is an SNMP or Simple Network Management Protocol lab. This lab consists of a PC connected to a switch, which in turn is connected to two routers. We're gonna run SNMP on the routers. If you want to, you can also enable SNMP on the switch and check information on the switch in a similar way to what we're doing on the routers. The tasks that you need to complete in this lab include enabling SNMP on both router one and router two. So on router one, which is a 2911, and on router two, which is an ISR, configure SNMP with community string public for read only and private for read write. Then use the MIB browser on the PC to view the hostname of router one and router two. So on this PC, go to desktop, MIB browser, put in the IP address of the router that you wanna check. You can get the IP address information by looking at the router. So as an example, show IP interface brief shows me that router one has this IP address configured on gigabit zero zero. So in the MIB browser, put that IP address in, browse the MIB tree, and then get the router name. Then view the interfaces on router one. Using the MIB browser, look at interface types, view the routing table, the OSPF area, router ID of router one, as well as the OSPF neighbors of router one. So these are read SNMP commands that you're gonna be sending to the routers. But then you need to change the name of router one or R1 to router one using the MIB browser on the PC. Now you can do more than what I've listed here. These tasks just give you some ideas of the things that you can do using SNMP between a PC and some routers. So if you wanna try other things, then do that. But here are some tasks to get you used to using SNMP. As a bonus, what you can also do is run simulation mode and then view the SNMP messages sent between the PC and the routers. So actually have a look at the SNMP messages going back and forth between the PC and the routers. So can you complete this lab? Download the attached packet tracer file and see if you can complete the lab yourself. Otherwise watch the next video where I complete the lab.